मैम जरा अपने होटल चेंज के बारे में बताइए किस तरह से जो आपकी हायरिंग पॉलिसीज़ हैं हाउ डज इट वर्क वट इज़ द थाट बिहाइंड थैंक सो मच सो एट लेमन ट्री होटल्स वी बिन हायरिंग पीपल विद डिसबिलिटी फॉर द लास्ट सिक्सटीन ईयर्स एंड इट्स पार्ट ऑफ आर एच आर स्ट्रैटी हम लोग की कंपनी का ये पॉलिसी है एक्चुअली और डिसबिलिटी में देर आर मैनी डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ डिसबिलिटी प्रेजेंट इन आर होटल्स इट इंक्लूड्स द डेफ पीपल विद फिजिकल हैंडी कैप पीपल विद लो विजन एंड इन द लास्ट इलेवन ईयर्स वीव डन वर्क विद इंटेलेक्चुअल एंड डिवेलपमेंटल डिसबिलिटी एज वेल एज ऑटिज्म बेसिकली द न्यूरो डिवर्स डिसबिलिटीज and what we are finding is that the more we venture into this um the more benefits come our way so that i'll explain this when our customers observe that there are team members who have a disability and they can see wo kitni achhi tarah trained hain aur jo bhi unko task karna hai wo kar pa rahe hain chahe wo coffee shop mein ho chahe front desk mein ho chahe housekeeping mein ho and they observe that the service is being given to them the way they want to receive it and it is of good quality like any other person that acceptance goes to a new level altogether our company is inclusive yes but because we have so many customers who stay with us across our 96 hotels in more than 58 destinations um we are in a way passing this message on forward and people are able to observe the reality of it because bolna bada aasan hai magar agar hum training theek se nahi denge aur wo service theek se nahi denge why will the guest come and stay with us why will the guest pay money if he doesn't receive service from a well trained person that's what his expectation is so we've been able to build a model around it a lot of focus on learning and development on training and a lot of focus on sensitization this thought process has come from our chairman and managing director and the leadership team has totally understood it and has bought into it but if we have a employee base total base of say 8000 9000 people how are they going to understand we have to first sensitize them so on a regular basis across our hotels we talk about why disability what are the benefits then we talk specifically about if there are deaf team members in your team how shall you work with them we teach everybody indian sign language now this is an interesting thought i believe in school actually we should be teaching of course english we should be teaching hindi and we should be teaching indian sign language I'm really proud to say all 7000 plus employees of Lemon Tree Hotels we know Hindi we know English and we know Indian sign language we do Aradha uh, 40 pratishat jo hamare disabled abadi hamare desh ki unke paas jobs nahi hain aur aap apne hotels mein jis tarah se leti hain kya aapke sujhav hain kis tarah se aage badha jaye ki aur jo corporates hain ya service sector mein aur inka dakhal badhe So in the last five years, uh, maybe even the last ten years, I've seen a lot of change. Uh, whether it's the hotel sector, restaurant sector, retail, um, IT, ITES, banking, there are many, many companies that have expressed an interest in hiring people with disability as a normal part of their policy, not as an exception. And we've had the good chance or the good opportunity to be able to share our best practices with many, many organisations. So. what we have been able to tell them is that in these 16 years we have seen that there are about 6 or 7 steps that you need to take to make your company truly inclusive uh, i can say it very simply to you at the very top of the company this belief that it is a, a business benefit actually to go for inclusion must come in at the head of the company and then get cascaded through that's the first step the second step is you need someone to focus on inclusion that's what my job is and that's how we can do pilots we can do experiments we can try new disabilities the third step is you have to sensitize everybody in the organization i mentioned that tell them why and tell them about different disabilities the fourth step is job mapping so any company who wants to bring a person in who's got special needs will have to examine the tasks of every role so in our company what happens at the front desk what happens in the coffee shop what are those 20 or 30 tasks a person does on a daily basis if i bring a deaf team member into the team can he do all those 30 tasks if i bring a person with down syndrome can they do all the 30 tasks this process is called job mapping you take the help of your ngo partners because they are experts we are hoteliers after all you take their help to analyze and study and that's how you work it out at which job and which disability